Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are visiting this large Victorian property plus basement flat that actually has plan of mission to be converted into a seven bedroom, seven bath HMO for the business professional market here in Teesside, plus a single let buy to let flat downstairs as well. The great thing about this property is right on the main roads here in Teesside. So you've got a bus stop literally right outside your front door, which is great for the tenants as well. So come on in, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So when we got here today, the door was actually boarded up. So I had to bring my screwdriver and take the, the, the board off the wall as well, which is always fun. Come on down. It's quite dark and dingy down here, but we'll show you really quickly. With a lot of these properties, if they are like left derelict, you know, that things like break-ins can happen quite a lot as well. So down here, we're not gonna really show you around it, but it's gonna be a one bedroom, um, open plan kitchen, living, diner, basement flat as well, which can generate around 500 to 550 pounds a month on a single AST contract as well. And it's gonna cost around 25 to 35,000 pounds to renovate this as well. I'll head upstairs and I'll show you the rest of the house. So for these large Victorian properties, we've actually done quite a lot of conversions into six bed, six bath HMOs. However, with this one, we've actually been very creative and we're able to get seven bedrooms and I'll tell you why. Okay, so when we come on in here, normally these rooms are around sort of 13 to 15 square meters. However, as you can see, this one is 21 meters squared, which basically means it's above regulations to be a kitchen, living room, and a dining space as well, and communal space for the seven bedrooms which means we can get two more bedrooms on this floor and turn it into a seven bed HMO. So we're unfortunately gonna be losing quite a lot of this old existing features because when we're doing these seven bed conversions, we need to put things like soundproofing in, we need to lower the ceilings, um, we need to make sure, make sure it's obviously fire safe as well. So unfortunately, just like in here, we're gonna to have to drop the ceilings to allow us to do this. So this is gonna be bedroom number one with ensuite. We're also going to be obviously having space here for the exit. We'll have bedroom number two here as well with the ensuite. And then obviously the communal space is down there. Come up the next floor. Again, we'll have to be a little bit creative. Over here is going to be an off suite for this bedroom over here, which I'll show you. Because when converting these HMOs, as you already know, they have to be 6.5 meters squared. This room is eight meters squared, 8.1. So we have to put the off suite over there as well. And then this is bedroom number three, got bedroom number four with en suite there as well. Bedroom number five. So massive rooms as you can see as well. So it allows us to fit the bedroom, the en suite, and have plenty of space as well for the tenants. Now, if you haven't seen any of our other videos about refurb costs and how to break them down, Check out the other videos on YouTube right now. Smash that like button and subscribe for more as well. We'll go upstairs and I'll show you bedroom number six and seven. Finally, in the loft space here, we have bedroom number six with off suite, bedroom number seven with off suite as well. So, what we're going to do for the rest of the day, we're going to head over to seven of our ongoing HMO conversion projects. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see one of them that's already finished. Hey guys, so we're here at one of our four bedroom conversions here in Darlington. This property actually had three different exit strategies. Originally a HMO, then a service accommodation option, and now he's gone for the social housing HMO because he lives a few hundred miles away. And this investor wants to have it as hands off as possible. So come on in and check it out. So at this stage of the development, we have gone through the rip out of the property. We have gone through um, first fix electrics, first fix joinery. And as you can see now, we've been boarding all the ceilings. We're also getting ready for the plastering downstairs here in the property as well. All the electrics have been chased in the walls. The first fix plumbing has been pulled through for the ensuites suites as well. So we'll take you through from the communal space, which is this, into the bathroom downstairs so this property has been converted from a three bedroom terrace house to a four bedroom two bathroom 
property. So as you can see, and you've probably seen from previous videos on our social media channels, we've dug the trench here for the bathroom downstairs. So we have a shower in there under the stairs and a toilet and a basin down here as well for one of the bathrooms. I'll come around. This is then gonna be bedroom number one downstairs here. And then finally on the ground floor, we have knocked out what was originally the kitchen and the downstairs bathroom. This is now gonna be a long galley style kitchen. We've had these drawn up from the CGI's uh, and also we'll drop them in the comments below as well so you can check them out. So this is gonna be a large galley style kitchen and then we'll head upstairs for the remaining three, three bedrooms as well. This is bedroom number two. As you can see, we've plastered the ceiling and three of the walls so far. We're gonna be putting a false wall in above the chimney there where the old fireplace was as well, just to give it a nice, you know, sharp finish on this room as well. And then we'll head through into bedroom number three. So in this property, originally, there was just one large bedroom along here. But as you can see, when you come in this room, we've actually put a stud wall up there. Um, and we've actually created a second bedroom, a second bathroom up here as well. So we've plastered the ceiling, plastered the rest of the walls, and again, we're gonna put a fake wall in there again to hide the old chimney. So that's bedroom number three. And then finally, we have bedroom number four, which again, we've knocked this wall out uh, to make it a lot longer as well. Just mind your step, there's a few holes from the wires as well. And then behind you, finally, we have the second bathroom in the property as well, which we created by making that room a lot smaller. So yeah, so good progress on this site so far. First mix electrics has all been done. We're now ready for the upstairs and the rest of the properties to be plastered. First mix plumbing is well underway and the en suites will be going in very soon. The kitchen's been ordered and it's gonna be in uh, in the next couple of weeks once the plastering's finished. Um, if you wanna see more about this project and the progress of it, Make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button as well, and let us know in your comments. If you had properties in Darlow, what would you convert them into? HMOs, SAs, or social housing?